Good morning and welcome to BHC Today. I'm Pastor Dave thanking you, you for joining me for these few minutes on Labor Day. Here we are in September. A few weeks ago, we concluded watching The Chosen, three seasons, eight episodes per season, and uh, it was a, an amazing experience, which 75 to 105 gathered, uh, probably on average of 100 per week, an amazing time. The last episode was particularly riveting, an amazing journey with Peter uh, through his eyes and his journey of faith as in following Jesus. He goes through a time of crisis, actually, in this episode, as his wife uh, has with, been with child and loses the child while he's away uh, on an evangelism tour uh, in behalf of Christ, and he doesn't know it. He doesn't know that she's pregnant because he's been so busy she hasn't been able to tell him. And then she loses the baby while he's away, and he still doesn't know. When he finds out, it takes him on a crisis of faith, which is uh, extraordinary. And the story ends wrapping around that as the disciples are rowing across the Sea of, of Galilee. A storm comes up and they're rowing for their life. Jesus appears. And I'd like you to watch that with me for just a few minutes. Has problems. I've been right here in front of you. 
believing in you, but you're breaking up fights in the Decopolis? Then come to me. You, weary and heavy laden. I will give you rest. on me.
please. Please don't let me go. Don't let him go. Please. Don't let him go. Like Peter, each of us are on a journey of faith. It may be that right now, your journey is following Christ through very deep and troubled waters. Um, it could be on different fronts at one time. It could be on one front at a time. It may be a crisis of health, crisis of finances. It could be the crisis of a loss of a loved one. It may be a relational crisis. It may be an emotional crisis. Or you may be walking in faith in a time which is simply just fine, where things may be going well. Wherever we are on life's journey, there will be times like Peter that the water is very deep and we will feel like we're drowning and Jesus will reach to us and say, I am here. I've got you. I've got you. There'll be times that you will say, hold me close. Oh, please hold me close. The reality is that that's our daily life in Jesus Christ. Our awareness is, is heightened when challenges to our faith take place in our lives. I, I don't know about you, but when I see that scene, tears come to my eyes because I recognize how much I need the Savior, how much I need Jesus. I look back at my life and recognize over and over again when sometimes I didn't always respond in faith. I didn't always respond with, hold me close, don't let me go. Don't let me go. Please don't let me go. Sometimes I tried to fix it myself. Sometimes I tried to work it out, uh, tried to find the formula to uh, fixing this or that. And he asked us in every season of our lives, whether it's crisis or not, he asked us to invite him to hold us close. Hold me close, Lord. Hold me close. Don't let go. Don't let go. In turn, he always, always is saying, I've got you. I've got you. I encourage you to think on these things. You may want to watch this clip again. It is an amazing experience that has been provided, I believe, by God's grace for us to see the level and the depth of Christ's love for his disciples and for us. So we move into the future. Don't let go, Father. Don't let go, Jesus, with his extended hand. I've got you. I've got you. Have a wonderful day.